The FM extractor has two end effectors, a push pin and standard bit for use on Riddell quick release and shot quarter turn attachment systems respectively. To use the FMX end effectors, begin by ensuring that the blade and handle covers are all properly fitted on the FM extractor. With a pistol grip grasp on the FMX, remove the handle cover from the FMX, leaving the blade cover in place. To remove Riddell's quick release hardware attachment system, place two fingers inside the cheek pad and place firm pressure on the back of the quick release receptacle while simultaneously depressing the quick release push pin using the push pin bit end effector. With the push pin depressed and pressure on the receptacle, use your thumb to rotate the quick release mount and push pin out of the receptacle. Repeat this process on all quick release hardware. Some Riddell helmets may have quick release side mounts with fixed screw top mounts. Under these conditions, you can simply remove the blade cover, open the FMX using the release lever, and position the FMX to quickly cut the top mounts, or deploy a power screwdriver. In the event of hardware failure, any of the quick release mounts can be cut using the techniques described in the cutting traditional loop strap mounts instructional segment. To remove Shutt's quarter turn hardware attachment system, place the standard bit end effector into the quarter turn push pin and turn the push pin counterclockwise until the spring loaded push pin ejects from the receptacle. Disengage the FM extractor and rotate the quarter turn mount out of the receptacle. Some Shutt helmets may have quarter turn side mounts with fixed screw top mounts. Under these conditions, you can simply remove the blade cover, open the FMX using the release lever, and position the FMX to quickly cut the top mounts, or deploy a power screwdriver. In the event of hardware failure, any of the quarter turn mounts can be cut using the techniques described in the Cutting Traditional Loop Strap Mounts instructional segment.